Life Kids, it's Miss Yasmin here. I hope that you're enjoy enjoying our Winter Bible Challenge so far. If you haven't started on it, no worries. You can go ahead and get started on it and catch up to this week. So we're learning the Beatitudes. Did you know the Beatitudes be changing your attitude? That's right. Jesus gave us these so that we would be blessed and have true joy. Last week, we learned verses 3 and 4 in Matthew 5. And this week, we're learning Matthew 5.5 5 and 5.6. 5, Matthew 5.5 5 says, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Okay, so do you know who was a perfect example of being meek? Jesus! Yes, Jesus showed us through his perfect attitude when he was being taken to the cross. Okay, so being meek is not being weak. You're not weak when you're meek. What did Jesus do when he was being made fun of and being spit on while he was on trial to go to the cross? He stood tall in his confidence in his heavenly father, God. He did not talk back. He didn't get angry. Instead, he was steady with his humble attitude and he stood his ground in what he believed in. Boys and girls, God will help you stand your ground. This also means, to me, being meek is also um, being humble. When we serve others, when we look for ways to help someone out, we humble ourselves in God's eyes. He will give us the power to be humble. And he says, those that do that will inherit the earth. Matthew 5, 6 says, Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Okay, so what does righteousness mean? Righteousness means justice. Those who strive for justice, those who want to do what is right. I know sometimes it's not always easy to do the right thing, but again, God will help you choose the right thing to do. Even when no one is watching, God is, and he will fill you with his satisfaction. Okay, there you have it, you guys. I hope that helps you understand this week's Bible verses a little bit better. And don't forget to get your beehive tracker out and add those little stickers onto your beehive tracker as you memorize those verses. If you haven't got one yet, that's okay. You can go to our kids page on our New Life Church website and you can download our Winter Bible Challenge packet. All right, guys, have a blessed week and don't forget to be changing your attitude with what God says. Bye.